Hey guys, so today is the day. It is time to show y'all my tiny nursery, but first I want to show y'all this is my favorite time of day for lighting. And this is in the dining room. Everything is back to order. No Halloween anymore. Let's go check out the nursery. Okay, so I can't show y'all the nursery yet, so let me step out real quick. Okay, so I have to build the suspense because I left clothes out and I had to straighten them before I show y'all. So here we go. I won't make y'all wait any longer. Here is the nursery. <clears throat> this is the wall where you walk into the right. And as you can see, I was still able to use my antique prints from my mom, the little baby prints. I love them. And I was scared, and then the little birdcage thingy I embellished with the ribbons. I was scared I was going to lose a lot of stuff in the nursery, you know, like not be able to put up stuff that I had before. So let me see if I can back up. See, it's hard to show y'all everything because there's not much space to back up. Let me show y'all. From the bed to my feet is literally like, I don't know, four feet, three feet, three and a half, something like that. So, <clears throat> yes, I still have my prints. I still have the angel from my sister sitting over there. I got that for Christmas one year. I am utilizing this little green wicker basket for some clothes, special clothes. And then here is the crib with the homemade bedding. I am also utilizing under the crib for more stuff. And here are the babies. We've got Harper. Sweet, sweet Colette. Mr. Connor. And the adorable Mrs. Robin. And her little thing is always like that. So I need to put a onesie on her. So anyways, I was able to also keep the little pram, the little antique pram, with some very special stuffed animals in it. And there are the toys down there in their little basket. So this is on the adjacent wall, and these, this is what used to hold my bottles. Um, I got rid of a lot a lot of bottles this is all I kept and it's got some very special things in there it's got little Kiki little grumpy Kiki and then just some cute vintagey knickknacks there's my little silicone baby looks like a little tiny baby in the womb Anyway, so that is this corner. Now to the opposite corner. I am currently figuring out a way to add more stuff. Um, and I'm in the process of putting more stuff down there. I moved stuff out of the way and kind of organized it. So I'm not completely done, but I just couldn't wait anymore to show y'all. So here's the changing table. Yes, I have a white mirror above my footprints. I am trying to keep this as realistically duplicated to my larger nursery as possible as far as appearance. This is the... This would be the wall to the left when you walk into the nursery. So I still have my other antique painting. I still have the wreath that I made. And guess what I found? No, it's not perfect. As you can see, I need to put a little handle on it. 
I got this dresser, this whole entire antique dresser, for ten dollars from a garage sale. They wanted twenty, and Brandon offered ten, and they took it. So that was cool. Anyways, here's my baby pictures of me when I was born. I look like a little frog and or ET and here is the picture of me and my mom and then my prayer changes things and here is a little shelf that is actually hearts and it was black got it from another garage sale for 10 bucks it's solid wood so I had daddy um, paint it for me and one of the things I got rid of on the changing table was a huge thing of diapers. And as you can see, every other shelf, I put a, a stack of diapers to use them that way. I still have the chair, although as you can see, no ottoman. I'm not sure if I'm going to place it in here just because it is such a tiny room. And here is the giant window. It is huge, but I love it. It's right in the front of the house. It's, I'm no longer hiding in the back. Got my follow your dream sign still. So here it is looking from, I'm trying to back up as far as I can without tripping over the dog bowls here. There's a better shot of it. And here's from this side. Anyways, guys, I do have to tell y'all something. I have learned a lot in the process of this switching to a tiny room. Or not, it is a tiny room. I mean... I really don't know what this room could be used for other than tiny little office like I had it or a tiny little nursery and I think it is perfect as a tiny little nursery but I gotta tell y'all I will show y'all my next video I'm gonna do a video showing y'all just what I think of a lot of things that I acquired. This isn't going to be against other people. This is just me, what I acquired during the reborn baby hobby process. Um, and it's insane. It's kind of like my niece said. You know, there's no way you're going to be able to change your dolls in as many clothes as you have even all of them once so I really did some soul searching and you know downsized a lot I and it makes me feel good I didn't realize how much crap literally I had that was just so wasted I didn't even know I had and you know it wouldn't be crap unless it were wasted and it was and so not saying it's crap like as far as trash you know what I mean but it's stuff that I donated or I mean not donated but that I'm going to be donating and it is so much stuff so anyways I'll talk more about that in my next video and show y'all everything so I hope y'all like this little tour of the tiny nursery but it is so quaint and peaceful so anyways guys I will talk so with you like to see more of my babies in my nursery like and subscribe take care God bless and love you all